Hey, today we're looking at the fashion plate of professional wrestling. Classy Freddie Blassie. Today we're looking at Classy Freddie Blassie from Elite Series 77. Excited about this. When I got some of them figures that I had before that I've opened on the channel, I had to get their manager. Just had to do it. Couldn't stand it. So I looked up and found Classy Freddie Blassie. And what a character this guy was. Absolutely famous. WWE Hall of Famer. One of the greatest managers of all time. Just unbelievable. He uh, managed some of the greatest wrestlers of all time. You got the Iron Sheik, Hulk Hogan, Blackjack Mulligan, uh, Nikolai Volkov. Just so many legends that he managed. And quite frankly, he was a legend when he wrestled. He was actually forced out of wrestling because California had a rule that if you're over 55 years old, you cannot get your wrestling license anymore. So when he hit 55, he couldn't get a wrestling license. So he was out. So he turned to managing. And that's where I knew him from in the early 80s, watching classy Freddie Blassie manage Hulk Hogan and the Iron Sheik. And then it, it's just great. His, his promos were awesome. Just a really, really great character. So looking at the package, to the front, WWE Elite says first time in the line. So there must not have been a lot of uh, Fred Blassie figures made. So then you see he has a, his cane and two extra hands coming with him. The side has a great picture of Fred Blassie. And on this side, another one. Yep, that looks like he's holding the hands of, I would say, Nikolai Volkov and the Iron Sheet there. And on the back, check that out. It says, Classy Freddy Blassie from St. Louis, Missouri. Weight, 220 pounds. Height, 5 foot 10. Career highlights, WWE Hall of Fame inductee. And then it has a little... Wording here says, listen up, you pencil neck geeks, whether an in-ring performer or manager, the Hollywood fashion plate is a true WWE legend. So very good. The bottom there, you have your warnings, labels, and copyrights, and it has true effects. Up here it tells you. And copyright on this is... Uh, 2019 so this is five years old I guess 2019 but excited to get him out of here and check him out with some of uh, his wrestlers that he managed let's get our knife let's see we'll open this we got on this you have that tapered side and the straight side we're going to open the we're going to open the straight side and I did buy this off a third party, so it could have already been open. I'm not sure. But whoever, if somebody did open it and previously owned it and opened it, they did a good job with it. They took care of it. Slide this baby out. There we go. There's your empty box in there that to the side and here's Fred Lassie look at that <laughs> that looks great you got the soft good shirt on man this looks good the cane man he's got rings on his fingers yep let's get these extra hands out of here there we go so we got a left pointy finger. He's got that ring on there. Not sure if you can make that out, but he does have a ring on. And then we have a, a right gripping hand. Let's get Mr. Blassie out of here. 
yeah, I, I open those Hulk Hogan and Iron Sheiks on the channel. If you haven't seen them, check them out. But as soon as I got those out of the pack, I said to myself, you got to get Fred Lassie to go with these guys. Had to. No brainer. So here it is. His cane is tied in here. So come on, cane, get out of there. Okay, got the cane out. There you go. Remember that? He used to hit guys with that. <laughs> I think that's how Nikolai Volkov and Aaron Sheik won the tag team belts, isn't it? And here he is. Fred Blassie. There's his empty plastic. Set that to the side and there he is. Classy Freddy Blassie. This is great. Holy cow. So, we mentioned the left pointy finger and a right gripping hand. This time we have a left gripping hand and a right finger pointer. He's got that silver hair and this sweet jacket. His jacket is a little bit bulky on him. Just a tad bulky, but it's still nice. Soft goods. I'm glad they did that. And it's Velcro. So if you do want to want to sport Fred Blassie without his jacket on, he's going to have no shirt underneath. So you're probably going to keep this on all the time. It's got a, see, he's got a necklace on. Yeah, so I would venture to say nobody's going to have this guy without his shirt on but we're going to take it off just so we can go through articulation next let's see how easy is this thing to get off ah oh, not bad pop him hands off would probably even be easier so there's fred blassie without a shirt on it looks kind of looks funny but we'll go through articulation real quick and we'll get that We'll get that shirt back on. If you, oh, let's let's show this shirt off. There you go. Good stitching. Very good quality. It is Velcroed, if I didn't mention that. So it Velcroed shut. Nice shirt. It reminds me of one of my sister's Barbie doll shirts, maybe. All right. So Fred Blassie, articulation. He he looks up. Not much. Down a little bit. Left, right, head is pretty stiff, so it goes back and forth. I, I don't think it's going to go all the way around. Shoulders, let's see, tight shoulders. There we go, broker free. So, yeah, big, big old T pose for Fred Blassie. And we've got shoulder all the way around, upper arm all the way around, single jointed elbow. Yes, I repeat, single jointed pinned elbow. So this being from 2019, single jointed. Uh, we do have a really good ab crunch. Really good. So you want him to look up, you can do that ab crunch or look down. Waist all the way around. Big splits. And he straddles. Yes, Fred Blassie could do better straddles than a lot of the other ones. And upper thigh cut. Double jointed pinless or double jointed pinned knees. Excuse me. And there is no upper boot cut on him because he's got shoes on, but he does, his feet are on an ankle rocker and they will not, they will not parouette, no way, not with those pants on. So this looks good and those ugly ankles are covered up with the pants, so I do like that. I appreciate that. So yeah. Decent movement. One thing I did not, that I mentioned, single jointed pinned elbows. So, 
great. Man, that is a good likeness of Fred Blassie. Looks really good. Now, let's get Fred Blassie back in his style and shirt. Don't want this old guy to catch cold. Fred Blassie, I think, passed away in the early 2000s, 2002, 2003, like that. He was in his 80s, so he had a good long life. I think he had a heart attack. But a good long life, successful career. And we'll get him fastened back up. There you go, Fred. Now he's better. Now that looks like Fred Blassie. You get that shirt back on him. And his shirt was kind of bulky, if you think about it, watching it. But this is a great, great character. Let's get him, get his cane in his hand. Perfect. And let's get him with, from that aforementioned Elite Series, look at this. How about that? Whoa. This is awesome. <laughs> Dang, you don't know how good these are until you get them in your hand. It just blows me away. How about classy Freddie Blassie and the Iron Sheik? He's going in to take on Bob Backlund. Yes, and who else we got here? Another wrestler. Look at that. Hulk Hogan. Yes, sir. So Fred Blassie back with his, his wrestlers again. This is absolutely great. I love it. I can't wait to get some pictures of these guys together. This is just awesome. Fred Blassie. I will say, I think he's a little bit taller than he should have been. So he comes up to Hulk Hogan's nose so Hulk Hogan was six foot five six foot six I think and Blassie's list listed as five foot ten what I would like I'd like either Hulk Hogan taller or him shorter Iron Sheik was six one I think so he's probably right but look at that I love it I absolutely love having this in the collection I can't wait to get some pictures of this but until next time oh yeah